Welcome back to SciShow News from wherever else you've been on the internet. Well, you weren't looking at the 20 best animal beat poets according to BuzzFeed. I hope that you saw NASA's jaw-droppingly beautiful and kind of terrifying video, Fiery Looping Rain on the Sun. Because there's nothing more relaxing and confidence inspiring than watching a video in which our sun appears to be falling apart. Now, I actually don't understand much about the physics of the sun, but fortunately, we can say with some confidence that it's not dying of Ebola, and what's happening in the video is totally normal. Recorded by NASA over 22 hours last July, the four-minute video shows a sped-up version of ordinary solar activity. The sun's super-strong magnetic fields move around, bump into each other, and rearrange themselves all the time, and when they do this, they can release huge blasts of radiation, solar flares, or gigantic bubbles of plasma called coronal mass ejections. The video captures both of those activities. Also shown in the video is coronal rain, which is when plasma released during a coronal mass ejection trickles back to the surface along solar arcades, which are magnetic forces shaped like loops. It's pretty intense, but it's normal and gorgeous. So why haven't we seen the sun's golden arches before? Well because we haven't really had the technology. We can see them now thanks to NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory. The observatory, which just turned three in February, is an Earth-orbiting spacecraft that watches the sun with a battery of awesome tools, like four telescopes, each with ten times the resolution of a high-definition TV, and other special thingamajigs that measure UV output and magnetic fields. With this observatory, we're able to see not only what's happening on the surface of the sun, but also what's happening inside it, which yields, in addition to pretty videos, a better understanding of how the sun works. And frankly, we need some more understanding of the sun, which has been surprisingly variable and hard to predict and cantankerous. Solar activity has seriously messed up transit systems, made cell phones stop working, given us ultra-bad sunburns, and radiated the crap out of astronauts. But that radiation's not all bad, it also gives us the beautiful auroras. All the same, it would be nice to be able to predict solar activity ahead of time. The observatory and its five-year projected lifespan will send us about 50 times more data than any mission in NASA history, all about the sun, baby. Scientists at Goddard Space Flight Center, Stanford, Lockheed Martin, and the University of Colorado monitor what comes out of the observatory, but the data is also open to the public. So you too can go to the Solar Dynamics Observatory website and spend hours making sure the sun isn't exploding. Thank you for watching this special edition of SciShow News. If you have any questions or ideas, we're on Facebook and Twitter, and of course in the comments below. And if you want to keep up to date on all the latest breaking science news, you can go to youtube.com slash scishow and subscribe.